वेलकम बैक गैस सो स्काईलाइन स्विच एंड्रॉइड एमलेटर जस्ट रिसीव द मेजर अपडेट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्काईलाइन एच इट इज बेसिकली एन एक्सक्लूसिव बिल्ड दैट इंक्लूड्स मेजर अपडेट्स इन दिस बिल्ड ऑफ स्काईलाइन एच जी पी न्यू फीचर हैज बिन इंट्रोड्यूस इट इज बेसिकली अ री राइट ऑफ द सिग्निफिकेंट पार्ट ऑफ द जी पी यू कोड नाउ स्काईलाइन एच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ स्काईलाइन मोनोटाइजेशन प्रोग्राम इन ऑर टू गेट एक्सेस टू स्काईलाइन एच वी हैव टू ऑप्शन आई द वेट फॉर टू वीक्स अंटिल स्काईलाइन एच बिल्ड इज मर्ज इन टू द पब्लिक बिल्ड और pay at least 5 US dollars on Skyline's Ko-Fi page in order to support the Skyline's development and get access to the build i think it is fair and then everyone will get access to the new builds it's just that the edge builds will have access to major features 2 weeks before the public builds so this is the Ko-Fi page of Skyline here everything has been mentioned here the developers have mentioned about the higher tier supports quoting the developer If you want to support us at a higher tier, you will get access to development polls where you can directly influence the direction of the emulator by voting on what is most important to you. At the highest tier, you will not only get everything from the previous tiers but also get your name inside all official Skyline builds to represent your significant contribution towards the development of Skyline. For their monetization program, Skyline team has consulted user team. Now let's talk about the latest GPU new feature. It increases performance across the board. Titles such as Super Mario Odyssey now hit full speed in even the most intensive places and work on Adreno proprietary drivers, not just Turnip, which provides a sizable performance increase in itself. Screenshots have been provided. You can see Metro Kingdom on a Red Magic 7 processor is Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. This is Super Mario Odyssey getting around 60 FPS. different sections of the game sand kingdom cascade kingdom 60 fps hollow knight running with an unlocked fps getting around 403 fps red magic 7 i hope you see these gains on processors like snapdragon 860 865 and even 870 it also further widens compatibility with games like pokemon sword and shield skyrim crash bandicoot rise and skull going in game for the first time though most of these titles aren't entirely playable yet due to major stuttering graphical issues or crashes now so stability is still an issue this is pokemon sword running on a realme gt neo 2 snapdragon 870 processor and here fps is around 14 still on the lower side pokemon sword battle running on the same device here fps is around 30 that's good to see skyrim running on snapdragon 870 processor helgen key 30 fps again skyrim running on the same device here fps is around 58 crash bandicoot fps here is around 52 this is just the main menu 40 fps another game rise fps here is around 28 so it's definitely a big improvement over the previous builds skull running on red magic 7 getting around 60 fps that's not all though freezes in the pokemon let's go games have been fixed and mali gpus are now fully supported running most games that can run on adreno performance may vary now guys i do have redmi k50 i dimensity 8100 processor its general performance is really very good but when it comes to running games on skyline emulator most of the games used to crash or had graphical bugs due to this i was hesitant in recommending this device to people who are into emulation this update can be a game changer pokemon sword indoors running on pixel 6 google tensor this is the device that they have for accessing the mali gpu getting around 30 and begging point 30 fps Pokemon Sword Outdoors running on a Pixel 6 here FPS dropped to around 6 We are working on fixing all the issues that prevent these titles from being playable with our current priority to make Skyline more stable and less crashy before starting work on Textman which should fix the vast majority of graphical issues that plague most games right now so this is what they are working on now An FAQ has also been provided here. Can I share the Skyline Edge APK with others? Developers don't recommend doing this. They trust that supporters won't share it publicly and should be aware that any non-supporters found to be using Edge builds will be denied support in the Skyline's Discord server. 
This is a post made by Due Teaching 6974 on emulation on Android subreddit page. Here they have shared the gameplay of Super Mario Odyssey running on the latest Skyline Edge build. According to them, FPS mostly stayed around 60. They used a device with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. Audio is also rendered properly. Yeah, game is running very nicely. Things are looking very good for Skyline. I can notice a few hiccups here and there, but still, performance is much better as compared to the older builds. Yeah, a few hiccups here. Maybe due to screen recording. So what I'm going to do is subscribe to their 5 US dollar plan on Ko-Fi to support them and get access to the Edge build. They also have a 2 dollar tier. You won't be getting access to the Edge build. And these are the other tiers, 10 US dollars, H plus. With a 5 dollar tier, I'll be getting access to preview builds of the emulator, a cool gold colored discord roll and access to member only channels let's see you need to create a ko-fi account okay so i can pay using paypal let's do this i already have a paypal account i'll just enter my credentials all right this should work i have entered my credentials it's processing so guys for some reason the payment did not go through it just got stuck here not sure what happened. I'll look into this. I'll end the video here guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.